Okay, we don't need to be doing name count. Right. So, um, sorry, I have a seat up here if you need it. Um, what I want to do is I want to go through what we've, what we've gone through so far and try to see if that's going to help us find um, how to find our value of x. So right now I'm asking you to say log of 36 x equals 3 halves. So remember, all we've really been taught so far is we know our, um, our, inequal our equality property, right? And then the only other thing we've learned is if I have x equals b to the y, we know that's the same of log base b to the y equals x, right? So far that's, um, I'm sorry, log base b to the x equals y, right? So far that's all we've learned how to do. We know how to use our equality property when we have exponents, and then we learned how to transfer between exponential and logarithmic form, right? So what this is saying is, Remember logarithms when we practice this, right? This says 36 raised to the 3 half power equals x. So now I want you to do is I want you to solve for x. So now we've got to solve for x. Well, this property right now is not really going to help us out. However, let's go and take a look at what about if I rewrote my logarithm as an exponential? So therefore, if I rewrote this as an exponential form, I'd have 36. Did I write the right problem? Thing too? Um, yeah, yeah, okay. 36 raised to the 3 halves equals x. Now, since I rewrote it in that format, can I evaluate for 36 to the 3 halves power? Yeah, yeah you, we can, right? So remember, 36 to the 3 halves. Now, before, now, ladies and gentlemen, you could rewrite this. So you could say, 36 to the 3 halves is equal to the square root of 36 cubed, right? If you wanted to do the, um, the root of that, that is equal to that, right? We've already practiced that. Now, the issue with this is, do you guys really want to compute 36 cubed and then take square root of it? If you have a calculator, it's not bad, right? You can do it. However, what were some other ways that we learned how to simplify this, right? Remember, we can always rewrite we can always rewrite our base into a different power. So what about if I wrote 36 is equal to 6 squared? Will that work? Yeah. So how about I write 6 squared raised to the 3 halves power equals x. Now, by rewriting that format, now I know I have to do the power of power rule, which says a to the m times n equals a to the m times n. So therefore, I'm going to multiply these. So what's 2 times 3 halves? 6 halves, which is just going to be 3, three equals x. So then I evaluate 6 to the third power is going to be 216. So you could say x equals 216. So ladies and gentlemen, when looking into solving a logarithmic problem, one possible way when solving a logarithm is looking at transferring them from logarithmic to exponential form. So you guys see how now that exponential form is powerful? Because now we can solve it by taking our logarithmic form and converting it to um, exponential form, and then we're all set. And we can solve it from there, because now we know how to evaluate for that.